Madam Speaker, members of the House, today we, we uh, take, continue the consideration of H.R. 5715, the Ensuring Continued Access to Student Loans Act of 2008. This is legislation that was reported from the Committee on Education and Labor with the unanimous bipartisan support. And once again today, I want to thank my colleagues on the committee on both sides of the aisle and the staff on both sides of the committee for working in a manner which allowed us to report this bill in very short order uh, to the House for its consideration and are working with the Department of Education, the Secretary of Education, Margaret Spellings, for her cooperation in helping us with this legislation so that we can assure the parents, families, and students of this country that uh, there will be uh, no interruption in their access to student loans as the lending season starts to progress now, as students are getting their letters of acceptance, thinking about the next semesters of education and next year's education, as that lending season comes in to its full fullness, we want to make sure that there is no disruption. We are concerned about a disruption because of the of the of the the general disruption that has taken place in the nation's credit markets, uh, and and specifically. Uh, concern about whether or not there will be a, a, a spillover onto the student loan markets so that students will have difficulty finding those loans. We have worked with the Department of Education, we have worked with the administration, we have worked with, with uh, the Republican members of the committee in our own caucus uh, to devise a, a system of relief that is available uh, to the secretary, to the administration in the event that that should happen. And really what we're doing is three things. One, we're, 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 uh, we're making sure that the, uh, that the existing law and the existing program for such an emergency, the Lender of Last Resort program, is functioning, that agreements are reached between the Secretary of Education and the Secretary of Treasury, and we've been told by the Secretary of Education uh, that she's informed the members of the committee that that has been done, that the Secretary meet with the guarantee agencies that might stand in the, in the stead of those lenders that can, cannot make those loans to make sure that there's a smooth transition between them and the universities and colleges and, uh, and, and that that program is in place. Also that schools are aware that they can, they can, they can apply to, to qualify for the direct lending program. Many colleges and universities use that today. They may want to consider that. So again, there's a smooth transition should the, uh, should the, the private lending market not be able to come forward with the student loans, they could direct their students to either of those two programs. And finally, to try and help the private sector uh, credit markets uh, for student loans to give, as this bill does, to give standby authority to the secretary uh, to purchase uh, uh, those government loans from the traditional lender, lenders in the student loan field so that we might develop some liquidity in that market so that they could then take the money they receive from the secretary and make a new tranche of student loans. If she purchased those loans, that money could only be used to provide a new, a new set of student loans for the students for the coming, uh, for the coming year. Uh, and we also raised the loan limit on uh, four students, uh, four undergraduates, because we understand that the private student loan market is in, in very rough shape and there are some students who use private loans to, make, to fill a small gap between the total cost of their education and what they were able to borrow. We think by raising the limit, we, we will be able to help most of those students in that, uh, in that situation. So uh, this is an important piece of legislation. It's legislation that we look to, to be enacted upon in the Senate in a very timely fashion and, and to be sent to the uh, President, we believe, for his, uh, his signature. And then we will have completed a series of standby authorities and a series of processes that will, we should be able to assure families and students that there will be no a major interruption in the uh, in the student lending for the uh, uh, for the remainder of this year and and, and next uh, and next year and uh, with that I will reserve the uh, the balance of my time